What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. We are back playing some Pokemon Sword Shield, hopping onto that ranked double ladder. And ladies and gentlemen, we got ourselves another amazing video for you guys today. Today, we have ourselves a Lycanroc team alongside with Galarian Moltres and Palkia. So if you guys are hyped, make sure you support the channel by smashing that like button and clicking that big red subscribe button. Seriously, it goes a long way. Thank you guys so much for the support that has been going out across this channel. But the team right here was actually sent in by one of you guys, but then I realized it was actually made by Spatial. He is another YouTuber who makes Pokemon content. So shout out to you, Spatial, for dropping this team and giving us the rental code. Shout out to you. So the link to your uh, channel will be down in the description below. Make sure you guys should go show him some love. Maybe drop him a sub if you do enjoy his content. But starting off in this team, we're getting started in the top left corner. We have Lycan Rock with that Tough Claws ability and the Focus Ash so we don't get one top, one tap. I can't speak right now. But Tough Claws actually allows us to do more damage in physical attack moves, which is amazing considering this is a full blown physical attacker he's rock typing with a cell rock as his stab move drill run and close combat for coverage moves and then our final move is going to be protect right next one we have swamper who is an awesome starter right here with water and ground typing liquidation high horsepower ice punch and protect torrent ability and the citrus berry to give us more hp when we fall below half our restricted mon is going to be palkia like i already said in the beginning of the video we have the salt vest so we don't get eaten up by special attackers Pressure as their ability, Spatial Ren, I love that move so much, that's a signature move, Hydro Pump for Stab, Earth Power, and Thunder both for our coverage moves. Right next one, we have Rotom Pizza Oven Heat Guy over here, love this Rotom variant right here, he's so dope, Electric and Fire type, Overheat, Thunderbolt, Protect, and Nasty Plot to set up, he also has that Levitate ability so ground moves can't hit us, and Safety Goggles for a bunch of different things like Sleep Powders and uh, Weather Control. Bottom left, we have Rollaboom with that Miracle Seed and Grassy Surge. I feel like ever since Rollaboom got this buff of this new ability, he's been such a beast in the online competitive scene. He's just so strong. He does mad damage considering he just set the Surge, and then he gets first turn priority with his Grassy, grassy Glide move. It is awesome. Cannot be beaten. He also has high horsepower, fake out to control the battle, and protect it as our final move. Then in the final spot, we have Moltres with the Berserk ability and that weakness policy. Once we get that policy rolling, we can rock out here and potentially sweep some matches. We have Fiery Wrath, Air Slash, Taunt to go up against support mods and protect as our final move guys if you want to try out this team for yourself rental code is at the bottom of the screen but let's get after it let's hop onto that ranked up ladder try to get some wins with this lycan rock team first battle coming at you guys going up against a shadow calyrex team and before we get into this battle i want to go over question of the day and that is will you guys be picking up a copy of pokemon snap um, I'm planning on doing a full blown playthrough on that game, and it is coming out April 30th, so definitely let me know if you guys are picking up a copy of that, and if you guys would like to see a playthrough of it, because the game looks very, very dope. It looks awesome all around, and the graphics are amazing. But we have 30 seconds left to pick our uh, Pokemon here. I think he might go Calyrex into Indeedee. That is possible. That is possible. I kind of want to go Moltres here. I kind of want to go Moltres. Let's go Palkia. Let's go Swampert. Let's go Lycanroc. I am actually going to lead the Lycanroc, go Moltres, um, go Palkia, and then in the final spot, we can go Rillaboom. I feel like Rillaboom just comes in the back end and does some work. But we're going to be bringing him in the back and final spot. But yeah, we had like a second left. I m maybe should have picked somebody over Rillaboom. Maybe Stomper. Stomper wouldn't be bad, considering he has the Thunderous. We can do work. Oh, that probably would have been a play. We go into Swamper, but then he has Ferrothorn, who does absolute work up against him. So we do have the Robum and we and we do have high horsepower on him, I believe. We were rocking fake out high horsepower, grassy glide, and protect. But it goes Calyrex and Indeedee. That's totally fine. We're gonna go Moltres and Lycanroc here. Moltres and Lycanroc. I might just protect the Lycanroc, or I might actually end up Dynamaxing my boy. My Moltres right here. I might end up Dynamaxing here. He does have the Psychic Surge, so we cannot use our Cellar Rock because that's the first turn priority move. Um, do I Dynamax the Moltres? The Moltres. We get after it with him. We go for a drill run. Go protect. I do have Sash, so I think he might helping hand. He could helping hand and go into an astral barrage or go into a uh, a what's he called? Him? An expanding force. That's what I was trying to think of. But let me see this thing's speed. I might just Dynamax and get after it. 156. I don't think that's how speed in Calyrex. I like just rather fast, but I'm gonna end up Dynamax and I'm gonna go for Max Darkness. It's super effective up against both. But I feel like we can do uh, damage if he goes for the follow me, or if he doesn't, we can just get rid of this ca uh, Calyrex right here. Because again, we're Sash on Lycan Rock, and I don't see him doing all that much. Well, he might do a lot, but not enough to KO us, I don't think. Then we can pop that uh, Epizerk and that Weakness Policy. But he's gonna end up Dynamax. Ooh, scary, Gene. Yo, Gene's scared right now. 
I'm gonna go for that helping any. I can see him going for that follow me. In that case, I wish I would have airstream just to get that speed boost because he is faster. Calyrex is rather fast. It's weird because like the Ice Rider Calyrex is kind of slow, and this one's kind of fast. Or you can go either way with them. They're just so versatile and good all around Pokemon. But we're gonna end up Dynamax here. Let's get after it. But yeah, usually a lot of people nowadays are actually leading the Indeedee and uh, Calyrex Shadow Rider and going for either an A and expanded force or B A Astro Barrage into a helping hand. Like either way, it's so powerful. There's a lot of work all around. Let's see, is he gonna go for follow me or helping hand? He's gonna drop the helping hand. Wish I had like a follow me Pokemon on this team. I'm gonna knock out for that. Max Quake's gonna come through here. No way. No way. Was this dude predicting the swap? I think he was predicting a swap. Yo, we take those all day. <laughs> I think he was predicting a swap. I'm not even kidding with you guys. Went for a max quake on my Mortar slide. He was totally predicting a swap and it just didn't go his way. That would have been A, big brain plays if it worked out. But B, it didn't. So we got an early lead here. We're looking really, really good. He's got that Intimidate. It's just going to do work up against my Lycan Rock, which I'm fine with. Still cannot go into my stand move, which kind of stinks, but I might swap the Lycan Rock. I could swap the Lycan Rock. He might go for an EQ. And I might get Rillaboom out here. Rillaboom could be really, really cool. So we get him out. So we swap the Lycan Rock so we have that Focus Ash for later. I could Darkness again. That is exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to Darkness over onto this Indeedee slot. He just cancels Battle, yo. GG, easy, just like that. 1-0. Solid first battle. Made the dude cancel in one turn. I wonder what his thought process was. If he was thinking I was swapping, that's got to be what it was. I think he was trying to make big brain plays, but just messed up. But we're going up against the Kyogre team right here in battle number two. He has Kyogre, Kingdra with that Swift Swim, Serena, uh, Thunderous in that different form. And then he has Heliowisk and Metagross. So decently strong Pokemon here. Um, weather is going to be a pain for me. I kind of want to... What do I want to do here? Rotom Heat can be... Eh? I mean, he has a thunder, but then it's just like the water still dumps on him. I feel like weather is going to be a huge part of his game. Um, I think I might lead Lycanroc. I definitely want to bring Palkia because we have that assault vest. Definitely want Rillaboom. I think I might go Rillaboom as a lead and Lycanroc. But man, dude, that water. That water's doing me dirty. But I feel like we can waste a turn out here with Lycanroc. We can go with a Celeroc and a Focus Ash. We go Palkia. I think Palkia is going to be great considering we're part water type. Then in the final spot, who do we go? Do we go Moltres? Moltres couldn't be bad. Moltres can be decent. But take out uh, Lycanroc? Might take out Lycanroc here and lead a Swampert. Let's do that. Go here. Let's go Swampert. Palkia. And then let's go Moltres. Let's go Moltres as in the final spot. I think it's going to be decent. I think we can rock out here and get some work done. Lycanroc is a cool Pokemon, but I feel like there's just better options for him. I feel like they should have made Lycanroc a lot better. Like, give him a better, uh, move pool. Because this, a uh, Cell Rock is really his only decently good rock move, you know? And it's first turn priority, which is awesome. And then he has a tough ball to give it that boost, which is dope. I love his ability, though, but I feel like they should have made him a little bit more, uh, competitive. A little bit more better on that side of the field. But he goes Kai Ogre into, uh, Serene. And does Serene have fake out? I mean, I'm gonna fake out his, uh, what's it called? I might protect my Swampert. I think I'm going to protect my Swampert and go into a fake out onto the Kyogre slot. Or I can swap because we probably a grass move is going to come through. Or I can just go. I think I'm just going to go straight for a grassy glide. I could drop an ice punch, but I'm just going to end up protecting right here. My swamps. My swamps get in the protect. And I feel like we, do, we don't have to go into a fake out. We can just protect and go into a grassy glide. I think that's a better play. Get some damage off onto you. Oh, no. Bro, I forgot about this ability. I forgot. Mm, bro, what you mean? What you mean? Oh, that's rough, man. That is rough. Taunts can come out here. Let me block it. Okay, so it could have went into an ice punch. That's rough, dude. That's super rough. That is super rough. Now you're going to lie. I guess we're going to a high horsepower. And drop an ice punch. Bruh. That's so rough. That ability cancels out uh, first turn. And that helping hand is gonna come out here. That's gonna take out my uh, gonna take out my Rillaboom. Do we get a turn off beforehand? No, we do not. 
That's rough news, man. That takes out my Swampert as well? Yo, what you mean? He gets a crit on my Robin. Robin was dead anyway. But still, yo, that takes out my Swampert. Yo, come on. Doing me dirty. Doing me real dirty. But yeah, we get an Ampharos. I'm going to Dynamax my, uh... I'm going to Dynamax my, uh... My Moltres here. I'm Dynamax Moltres. We can't Ampharos. I'm not playing around anymore. But I thought we were having a nice little first turn. I totally forgot about this thing's ability. We need to go for a spatial run here. Or I can drop a Thunder. Thunder is 100% hitting. Yeah, I'm going to rather uh, hit him with this Thunder. We're going to go Thunder, and I am going to Dynamax. And this thing could be Sash, but I'm going to Airstream. And we're going to roll from there. He really did me dirty there. He really did me dirty. Nice read. So I couldn't uh, I couldn't even went for a fake out. I couldn't go for a fake out or grass guy. That just canceled out my roll dude. That is nuts. That is nuts. That's crazy. I hate this game. I hate it. <laughs> but yeah. Let me know if, if in the comment section down below is there like things that you guys forget about too in the game. I always forget about like little things like that. He jumps another helping hand, which hopefully we can outspeed with this airstream with this Moltres. We're going to outspeed with the Palkin, which is beautiful, first of all. How much damage are we going to do? Is he going to go for a Water Spout? Because that will do, like, nothing now. And we get that Para. Woo! I'm going to big. Here goes my Airstream, which is dandy. We're going to get that Speed Boost. And is this thing Sash? It is not. That's huge. That is huge. Your boy's rolling now. We get that Speed Boost for the team. Hopefully, he's going for a Water Spout or he's paralyzed. Either or could be awesome. Because then I could just take him out next turn and not even have to worry about him. Let's see what happens here. He's going to go for a water spot. That's not going to do a lot at all. Beautiful, lovely. Love this game now. This is my favorite game now. <laughs> but we're sitting pretty well. I know he still has Dynamax. I don't really have to worry about the Kyogre because I can Thunder him up again. Because, A, I know it's going to be 100% hitting. Considering anytime it's in the rain, if you guys didn't notice, if it's in the rain, it hits 100% of the time. But he's going to go Kingdra. He is going to go Kingdra. And in that case, I'm going to drop a Spatial Ren. And I'm going to Airstream and take out the Kyogre. And we're going to do a little swap here. Because I see the Dynamax coming out here. And I wonder what he's going for. We have that Assault Fest, which is huge. on my Palky. So he's not going to be able to one-tap my Palky out. You're going to withdraw? Oh, you're going to withdraw you. And who are you going to go into? Don't be a fairy Pokemon. Okay, it's going to be him. And I wonder why he went in then. Tiger's Paralyzed. He was looking to go for a Protect. This is going to be a big turn for us. Special Man's going to come through here. Do a decent amount of damage. Hopefully we get that crit. That can be dope. I don't think we got the crit. It's still decent damage. The reason I said hopefully we get that crit is because of uh, that move has a higher chance of landing crits. So we got that plus two speed. So now we can actually counter up onto this uh, onto this uh, Kingja. Because Kingja gets that Swift Swim, which is basically a plus two speed boost. And we have a plus two speed boost. So hopefully we outspeed it now. I can get another speed boost if I want. But I don't know what I should do with this one. I know we're going to outspeed that uh, Thunder, so I need to take him out with my Moltres. And I'm going to drop a Spatial Ren. Yeah, Spatial Ren over on you. And then what move is going to do more? Special Defense Drop? I think that's better all around. Instead of a speed boost? I think that's going to be play. Instead of speed boost, we get a Special Defense Drop. Considering both these Pokemon hit with Special Attack and moves, the Special Defense Drop onto that uh, Kingdra will be better off in our favor. So we really lost it. We lost our Swampert and our Roboom in like the first turn. And we're making a comeback. We have a battle here. We have ourselves a good one. Seems strong. It seems decent. Really, It's actually really good. It's better than I thought it was. But Kingdra blows its nose. I love Kingdra's design. I think it's such a cool Pokemon. Fish Run's going to come out first. Do some big damage. I don't even think that was crit. Hopefully it was. It was not. If that was crit, that was taken out. Max Darkness is going to come through right here. Max Darkness should be able to pick up KO. That's going to be GG's. That is going to be GG's. Because A, we have Speed Advantage. And he cannot take us both out. And we have a special defense drop here. It's game. Your boy's doing it. Your boy's doing the work. He's going to go for an airstream. Actually, no. Now he has speed. But he has to take me out. Yeah, and he's not doing that. We have that Assault Fest. And Palki is pretty bulky on the special defense side. That's GG's. That's GG's. Rain stops. Um, what's called is faster now? Actually, no, not anymore. Rain just stopped. I was gonna say King's just faster now because it got that speed boost, but not anymore. No more rain, and Spatial Ren is gonna come out here and clutch it up. 
Palkia's looking good. Palkia's doing real good work. But see, that is why you don't you don't cancel out battles too early. I kind of saw, I was like, we have a powerhouse team in the back who we can roll out here and do some work with. I probably should have led the Palkia. That probably would have been a better play. But that Queenly Majesty did come up clutch. It did come up clutch because I totally forgot about it. We would have had a good lead if he didn't have that. His Grace God would have did big damage and got us rolling. But we end up rolling out with Moltres and Palkia. In the back end, Dying Maxon and completely sweeping his team with just these two Pokemon. Now we're sitting at 2-0. and We can hop into our third and final and look for a perfect record. Looking to go 3-0 and in this video. I feel like we haven't went 3-0 and in a good bit. Hopefully we can do it right here, right now. This guy is a Shadow Calyrex team alongside with Indeedee. Kartana, Torkoal for weather control, and then he has the Thunders and the top of Finny. I feel like the Indeedee and Calyrex is going to be the lead, right? And hopefully this guy does a Max Quake into my Moltres slot again. But I'm trying to think, like, what we can do. What can Jeans do here? It's just such a strong combo, especially up against this team. It can do decent work. Do decent work. We do have a safety goggles. We do have a Soul Fest, so I am going to lead Palkia. Try to get him rolling with that. I cannot lead Lycanroc in case he leads Indeedee. Um, hmm. What does Jeans want to do here? How does Jeans want to roll out here? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to bring Palkia. I'm going to bring Moltres in the back and Lycanroc in the back. I do like those two. We have the rock typing. For that Torkoal and that Thunders. Um, I think we have Swampert. I'm liking Swamps. I am digging Swampert here. Or I could go Rotom. Nah, I'm digging Swamps. I am digging Swampert in this battle, considering he has Top Affinity, which is a water typing. He has that uh, Thunderous, which Thunder cannot hit my Swampert. And then he has that Torque. So I think Swampert is a great old call here, but I feel like he's going to lead that Calyrex and Didi, which is such a powerful combination right now. I feel like everyone's using it. Well, a decent amount. At least half of the people have a Calyrex and Didi team in their rental codes. And your boy Jeans, he's the other half. He's the cooler half that doesn't. <laughs> but see, what did I say? What did I say? So we saw this twice in this video. We saw it twice already. It's so big right now. I feel like just this past weekend, it's just been blowing up. I don't know who's better, Shadow Rider or Ice Rider. I feel like they both have their uh, their ups and downs. Well, basically all ups. They're just better in different categories. He goes with the Surge, the lovely little Surge. And he drops the Seeds. Seeds give him that special defense boost. Okay. See you. I see you. I kind of want to drop space for Ren. I think we're going to see a helping hand, so I'm going to protect you. Let's see if I can do some damage over on this Calyx slot. Yep, helping hand, Astral Barrage, we're expanding force. <laughs> so I'm just going to get this protect off. You are going to get a lovely protect, and expanding force is going to drop. Palkia, yo, say this tasty snack and land this crit on the space run. You have that assault vest, baby. Wow. Big old damage. Special runner. Give me that crit. Show me that crit. Show me that lovely crit. Do it dirty. Do him dirty. Get it. Oh, man. That was a crit. We were so close. Okay, so this thing does go down. Oh. Oh, my. I wish I had another protect. Do I go for another protect? What do I do? I wish I had a first turn priority, but I wouldn't be able to go into first turn priority. He's going to go down the life for it, but I mm, hate this game, man. I mean, I'm going to go for a special run over on the U. Do I go for another Protect? That's a real question. I think I just try to get off of Liquidation. Oh, this might take me out. But if we get rid of this Calyx, this would be nice. Follow me's coming out here. I'm going after you anyway, because that thing's dying with life orb damage. So, buy Palkia. Maybe buy Swampert. Swampert, eat. Show me to eat, Swampert. Yes! Swampert! You're the best! Life orb should take him out. Please take him out. If Life orb does take him out, uh, this game's over. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. Swamper eats. That uh that leaves us sitting decent. Such a strong combo, man. And we got berry that I totally forgot about. Good work, Swamps. Keeping that berry in your back pocket for easy eats later. He has special defense boost, but we're physical attacking. Liquidation gonna come through here. And we're gonna do some nice damage. Ooh, and we get a nice little defense drop. Boy coming in here. Like no, we saved like a rock for the back. We're gonna get Moltres in here. I'm gonna Dynamax Moltres. I am gonna Dynamax Moltres. I'm going to take out that Indeedee. I think Indeedee does outspeed. Or not Indeedee. I think Moltres outspeeds. Oh, we got you. Oh. Yeah. We got we to deal with you. Hmm. Hopefully we can proc policy. And honestly, I can see a... Uh, 
I'm gonna go here. I'm gonna double through on this slot because I can see it following me coming out here. So I'd rather get a speed boost instead of go for a super effective move. So maybe we can outspeed this thing next turn. And hopefully he hits us, proc policy, and we can take him out in one shot next turn. This one's gonna be a close battle. This one's gonna be a real close battle. Will he one tag me? That's a good question. That's a good question. I think maybe we can eat and pop that Berserk and Policy. And then get the speed boost as well. Follow me coming out here too. We dynamite. We dynamite. But I need this surge to, to, to kind of get out of here. I can get my Lightning Rock out of here. Because Lightning Rock won't really be able to do much until this surge is kind of over. Because I would love to use the Cellar Rock. And I can't change it up. I can't change it because uh, Glaring Moltres has to move to change up terrains. Let's see. Follow me coming out here. Indeed it is. Indeed, indeed he is using follow me. There goes, oh, he goes for the airship. What a cookie, what a smart cookie play. Takes out my swamps. Now I wish I would've went into the darkness. Smart cookie play. Hmm. Let me KO with this. I don't think we are gonna be able to. I don't like it. Should've went into the darkness. Should have went into the darkness, man. I probably need to go after my Moltres. Like him out. Get on down. You're my last choice, buddy. You're my last choice. All right, like him out. Pops out here. Um, what's going to be faster? Moltres is right. I think like rock speed is a lot faster than Moltres, but I think with this plus one, should be chilling with this 156. 178, yeah, Moltres is going to be a little bit faster. So, I'd say we just go into another airstream. How many turns left in surge? Does that say two? Bro, I hate this game. I hate it. Uh, I guess we have to. Uh, I'll protect. I'll protect my Lycan Rock here. I am Sash, but. But, I don't know what to do. Because I don't want to drop close combat because my defense drops like crazy. And I'm gonna need like I need the surge to end. But what I need here is uh Is this my last turn in Dynamax? No, this is my second. Like Rock's gonna protect. I think we're gonna see another follow me. And I wonder what uh is he gonna drop an airstream here? And I uh, not an airstream, a uh, lightning? I think he might drop a lightning here. What's he gonna do? He's gonna go for a knuckle. Good thing we did protect, I guess. And the good part here is actually we might be able to outspeed this guy now. He's not trying to proc my policy. That's that's what he's not trying to do. He's not trying to proc my policy, and we are going to be able to take you out here. Finally, Indeedee is gone. We have one more turn left in Dynamax at full HP. I think it's plus one on attack. He's not trying to proc policy, so he's playing this one decently smart. Um, hmm. still has that terrain up, which is annoying me because I cannot use my Acela Rock. You're gonna bring out Torkoal and bro, no! I would love to use it right now. Drought's coming out. And this jeans wanna do here. Good darkness. But well, I think I go airstream again. Just in case he airstreams, we can uh be speed rolling. I can go for a drill run, which is pretty dope. So we're gonna double up into the Torkoal slot. I think Torkoal's just gonna go for like a big eruption. Try to get that battling over onto us. And I wonder if he's going for a max knuckle here, or is he going to shoot his lightning shot here? Now he's plus one. Let's see what he does. Oh no. He really protected. This dude really protected. We do get out off an airstream. We are going to get some nice speed boost here. And now, what are you going to do? That's my question. Is he going to knuckle buckle on me again? Yeah, that's a great question. Let's see what he does. Don't run block. Don't run should go under the protect. You know what I'm saying? Should go under it. He's gonna knuckle, he's gonna take out my Lycan Rock. That's tough news. Lycan Rock, no! No! I think he's just gonna wild charge and call it GG's. Finally, the psychic surge disappears. When I wish we had it before. <laughs> Um, I'm trying to think. Is there any way we can, can pull this one off? I mean, Fiery Wrath's not going to pick up the double KO. I thought he was going to go for maybe another airstream. 
That's how I was boosting my uh, speed. Go for an air slash. Try to make Torkoal flinch. I mean, Fiery Wrath can make flinch. So, we're going for it. We gotta go for it. We need him to maybe proc policy miss. We can roll from there. Hopefully, we make some flinch. Make a couple flinches here. Show me some flinches. Oh, there's one. And he's just things on the rough. We're gonna be able to eat that up. That's tasty. We need more flinches. We need more flinches. <laughs> Fire Wrath coming out here. Double flinch. We're gonna double flinch here. We can double flinch. We win this game. If we flinch this thing, we might be able to win this quick game. Go. Clutch it up, Motrez. Do him dirty. Get it going. Show me the flinch. Show me the flinch. Ah, wild charge comes through. That's GG's. This thing's boosted on attack. <laughs> Could you imagine if we just kept flinching to win that game? That would have been hilarious. But we end up losing that battle. Tough third and final one. But we end up 2-1. And, and we grab ourselves a winning record. Dope team, we got the show off today. Shout out to my boy Spatial for actually making this team and giving it as a rental code for everybody to use. Like I said in the beginning of the video, link to his channel will be down in the description below, so definitely go check that out. Um, I love this team all around. I think everything was dope about it, especially the Lycanroc. I wish we would have got to show him off a little bit more, but we kept getting checked with the uh, the Psychic Surges, so a Solarock couldn't come through, and we couldn't use his stab move. I love the Moltres on the team. Moltres is an absolute beast, and Palkia showed up today and did some absolute work all around. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positivity today, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.